This is the spider drill rig when you arrive at site. This is the configuration it will be in. All the outriggers will be pulled up. That gives you the most amount of space to uh, enter deep uh, holes or uh, uh, go through rough terrain. So when you arrive at site, because we wanted the spider to be like the outriggers are a little bit different than standard outriggers, we've got the ability to go quite high and the first thing you do is you will remove your lock pin. Hang your uh, pin that side on all four of the cylinders. You will first remove the pins, hang them on the outside. Like this one. And let the outrigger go down to the ground. Then you start up your, your donkey motor by putting the switch on, pressing the button. It will automatically uh, start and go into idle. Then you have to push your cylinders out. Now, you just lift the, the, the pipe a little bit, line up the hole, push it through, put your pin back. You see, like that. Now, this outrigger is ready to, to, as the jack pulls in, it will lift the rig. To make the draw rig light, that is comfortable for the operator as well as make sure that the wheel is lifted off the ground. You can take out the pins from the, the lock section. They've also got our clips in, we've already taken them out. So, that for the next stage and that is to decide are you going to do mud rotary drilling in which case you will remove this long sub saver here and install the mud swivel in its place the mud swivel the function of the mud swivel is to prevent uh, mud going through your air box which is for DTH drilling if you're going to do DTH drilling now you have to install your hammer and your uh, um, drill rod and from then on, you are ready to drill. The nice thing about the spider on the air side, if you're working with a compressor, 
Your air comes in here. You uh, fasten it here. Here is a hook for your safety chain. Uh, if you can see, uh, just bring the camera around and have a look there. There you fasten your safety chain, your uh, uh, air pipe goes in here. If you're doing mud rotary, all your operation is here. Uh, this is for your air operation. You're close to your air uh, to close and open it. If you're doing mud rotary, we've uh, devised this plan to make mud rotary easier. If you push this handle this way, uh, the mud which goes in through this po uh, uh, port here, this quick coupler here, will go through here, up that side, up here, and then either go down to the drill head, or you can put a, a, a return pipe on here that goes back to your mud uh, pit that will help you mix your mud. So you don't have to go to your mud pump to switch it off or close a tap there. You, you control everything from here. Right. So that in a nutshell is what, this, what makes the Spider V2 uh, an easy drill to get into place. As you could see before we started, it was the size, it was no higher than this uh, Toyota Baki. And after we've set it up, it is now ready to drill up to 200 meters deep. All the controls are nice and close to the operator. It has got a rev uh, uh, count of uh, rev uh, adjuster. We can adjust the uh, RPM of your engine if you need faster rotation. Uh, you can also adjust the hydraulic rotation speed. You can adjust the feed speed. In other words, the automatic feed speed that works with your auto feed. The auto feed is a detent. You engage it and you set the speed to what speed you, you are comfortable drilling. And you can actually move away. The rig has got a relief valve in that prevents the rig from lifting itself off the ground. It, the only pressure it can uh, give you downwards is enough to make sure that you don't uh, lift the rig off the ground. More important that you need to understand about the, the uh, spider is the breakout system. The breakout system is uh, built on the, onto the spider to uh, be a hydraulic, uh, hydraulic breakout tool. Uh, it works with a cable that is redirected and on here there's a chain coming on that will fit into your spanner. We can actually later get everything together here and make a video of that. Then the drill head, the, this pin you can take it out and you can swing the drill head open so that you, for the installation of longer casings. Okay, the table opens up to a maximum of 254 millimeters so that you can install a 10 inch casing if you need to. <laughs> And that is the Spider V2 in a nutshell.